Hey guys, it's Austin Monday, yay! Although actually I'm filming this on a Thursday because today I'm off to the hospital to have an endoscopy in the stoma. <laughs> I've never had that before, I've only had one ever, I think I've had one or two colonoscopies, obviously the back end, but never through a stoma before. So I've got the two stomas and it's the not the active ileostomy that I'm having, it's the other one which is like not connected to anything, but it's um, it's been overactive recently, it's producing a lot of mucus and it's like just causing leaks and really annoying me basically. So um, they said they'll have a look at it and see if there's anything kind of up, you know, see if there's anything Crohn'sy. Uh, and if not, then um, we can go ahead and, and irrigate. So hopefully that will help clear it out and I can kind of forget about it a bit. So that's going to be hopefully a good thing. But unfortunately, you have to go through these kind of things for them to actually investigate and make sure it is okay. So, oh God. And I have a feeling that they're going to try and give me bowel prep and I'm like, well, it's not connected to anything. So there's no point. It's not going to make a difference. It'll just make me very dehydrated. But... You know. So I will take you along and I'll kind of give you my um, my first impression of how it went and you know because if anyone's not had one before it might be good for you to watch this and see what it's like. Not actually like them doing it but like my thoughts and, and everything afterwards so keep watching and hopefully it'll be very informative for you. Hello so we're on the way to the hospital, my mum's driving because apparently I need someone there to like the, the nurse lady said that I need someone there to make sure I'm okay so I think they said if that's if I have sedation but I don't know if I'll need it I guess it depends on what the gastroenterologist says I don't know but um where's mum hello hello <laughs> so yeah we're on the way it's a very grey day hopefully it won't rain but we've got brolly just in case So I thought I would talk to you a bit about um, my experience with the um, colonoscopy via the stoma. <laughs> so um, I got there, waited for probably 15 minutes in the main waiting room, then they took me to um, like a little assessment area where I like, went through a form, um, made sure like you know recorded what medication I was on and um, whether I needed sedation or not and that was where I was like um, I don't know because it's not the usual colonoscopy where it's like up the other end if you see what I mean so I was like I don't know and she was like just a you know clerk nurse so she was just like um, no I don't know either I was like well this is good so she said we probably don't need it so I was like okay so I didn't have any sedation so I ended up going um, into like another, I get, got changed into like a gown and I had my, they told me to bring my dressing gown and my slippers so I had all that. Um, Mum took all the rest of my stuff and went, went to the waiting room and then I went to a different like waiting area um, and I was in there, it was supposed to be probably, I don't know, 10 minute wait or something but because the, the patient before me had like some issue, I was waiting there for an hour <laughs> in this tiny little cubicle thing with just me and a curtain. I was just like, oh. When the time was finally ready, when they have finished with this other patient, the male nurse, or nurse, who I always seem to get on better with nurses than I do with nurses, but I've always gotten better with boys than girls anyway. But anyway, so he came in and um, we were just having a chat on the way to the, um, the room. And then um, I basically lay down, but obviously usually you'd sort of lie down on your side and everything gets really embarrassing. But for me, all I had to do was kind of lie down on my back and just pull up my shirt and get like the take bag off which was weird um, so then obviously yeah took off the bag and um, this guy came over with like some lubricant and like started to make uh, like put his finger in the stoma which was very surreal um, and then um, this other like the nurse was trying to like talk to me and sort of like so what do you do trying to like, keep my mind off stuff um, actually the, the gastroenterologist wanted to do three scopes one in that stoma, one in the other stoma, and one in the remaining rectal stump that I had. To which I was like, no, 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 
just the one for me, thanks. He did the, he kind of put the scope in and I was able to look on the monitor um, and everything looked really healthy, really nice pink colour, which is a, a good sign. It got quite painful towards like where the, the bends are in the colon, which it would do. Um, but I actually have more colon than I thought, you know, like the little diagrams that I draw. I may have like underestimated how much colon I have left, because I think he went all the way along my transverse colon. So... I don't know. But anyway, so he kind of put this, it wasn't him, it was like his assistant, I think. Put the scope all the way in, had a real look, took some pictures, didn't need to take any biopsies. Um, there's a little bit of Crohn's like, that's, a bit, that's active. Um, just like a little, almost like a mouth also, you know, when you kind of get that little like, bump. It was like that. Um, so he took a few pictures of that, but then, yeah, pretty much said there's nothing too worrying, nothing, nothing to sort of go back and, you know, he said to go and follow up in a, in a couple of months, but... It looks quite re relatively healthy for an old crony like me. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So that means that I can now do irrigation in my mucus fistula, which means that I can now clear it out every kind of couple of days if I need it. You know, it might be once a week, I don't know. So I'm going to arrange to see my stoma nurse and she's going to show me how to do irrigation. So I'll probably do a, a video on that at some point as well. So. Overall, it was a really good, I mean, it was never a good experience, but it was better than my last, like, endoscopy. Because the last endoscopy was, well, it was basically the reason why my bowel perforated in the first place. Um, and I was in so much pain and I was so, like, traumatised by it all. So I had a better experience with this endoscopy. So, yeah, I'm, I'm as pleased as you can get with an endoscopy. <laughs> I'm so relieved that everything's healthy and um, I'm now looking forward to kind of the next step of dealing with the mucus fistula and um, irrigation so like I say I'll do a video on that at some point but for now I shall love you and leave you and um, if you have any kind of stories or experiences with endoscopies particularly if it's like through the stoma but even if it's just a normal either sort of down the throat or up the mm, other thing uh, feel free to share your stories whether it's been like a oh actually it was really not as scary as I thought or yes I was exactly as scared as I thought it would be or you know whether they're horror stories or success stories I'd love to hear all about them which is a really weird thing to say seeing as what it is but you know <laughs> I'm weird share your stories and get in touch and uh, I hope you're having a wonderful Oster Monday see you next week bye